Hi, it's Adele Michael back with another episode in Manifesting Abundance and Magic. And today we're going to talk about family stories. What was your family story about abundance, about magic, about money? If you go back 10 generations up your family tree, 10 generations, that is the possibility of a 1,024 people that you are descended from. 1,024. That means that you have 1,024 stories about money. Money's scarce. Money's available. There's a new frontier. Many of us who came to the United States, many of our family, came for more uh, opportunity. In the old country, there was war or famine or Surf, serfdom. Some of us came as slaves and had to build out of that. We all have a resource, a heritage of stories about money. For instance, I have an Irish fr a friend who's of Irish descent, and because of the, fa the potato famine and the, the destitution there, she has a very, very different outlook on money than, than I do, because my family wasn't directly from Ireland. They were from England, Scotland, Wales, France. And we're obviously white, so we had a much different experience than my black friends who came to this country as slaves or um, indentured servants. So what's your family story about money? So that's the big picture. And we actually do inherit it's, it's been shown that we do inherit some of those stories through our DNA and through the family stories that are told. For instance, my relatives who came to this country pretty early on um, were, were very fortunate. And because they were here early, they were able to accrue a lot of land and a lot of wealth. Well, that's no longer true. I mean, we have... We don't have that wealth anymore. We don't have those plantations. We don't have those big houses. We're more working middle class, which is great. It's a wonderful opportunity, but that wealth has gone away. What about the stories that your, uh, the people who, who raised you told? Did they fight about money? Did they have a negative attitude about money? Did they tell you that rich people are bad? Um, were they restrictive with money? I know, I know for me, my mother was, I didn't get an allowance. I, I didn't get a whole lot of opportunity to explore the consequences of money. I wasn't taught a whole lot about money. Both my mother and father worked and they were good with money. They thought I was going to get that through osmosis. I didn't really. So uh, my relationship with money has been very different because um, I thought I was being bad because I wasn't really very good with money. I've gotten a lot better because I've educated myself and I've changed my mindset about money and my worthiness. But it's still it's still not the the um, the easiest thing in my life. There are other things that are much easier than than dealing with money. Was your family stories were they expansive or restrictive? Did you have a strict religious upbringing where you weren't supposed to have money? It was, it was forbidden or taboo to be wealthy. Did you have a cultural upbringing where you were conditioned that um, maybe as a woman, you weren't as valuable as a man, that you weren't supposed to receive as much? You were supposed to be a servant, not a receiver. Or were you... Were you born into a, a, a culture and a family where you saw a lot of destitution, a lot of poverty. That can real, all shape your relationship with abundance and magic. And what about if things are too easy? You know, magic can happen quickly and it can seem like you didn't have to work very hard for, for it. And that's not because manifestation has to be hard. It, it's because you have to be lined up with it. Your desires and your feelings about what you deserve have to be lined up with what you're imagining you'd like to have happen. So, 
What were your family stories? What were your cultural and religious stories about money? When I say story, I mean it's a story. It's a movie in your mind that can be changed. So that's what I'd like you to think about today. And I'd also invite you, if you would like to know more about the work I do and have um, my newsletter come into your inbox, let me share that with you. Here we go. If you go to adelmichael.com and come, you'll come to the home page. If you'll scroll all the way down, you will find um, a place where you can give me your name and your email address, and I will put you on my mailing list, and I won't spam you. Okay, thank you so much, and I, um, I look forward to talking to you in the next video.